Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divinely Design, and I have a video, a craft project video. Um, I haven't done a video in so long. I've just been just been busy doing stuff, and so um, I've been working on lots of projects for the holidays around the house and decorating and things like that. So just haven't had a lot of time to do videos and things like that. But anyway, this is one of my craft projects. Now, I didn't film the making of it, but I thought I would go over how I did it. Um, this is going to be a present for a friend who's kind of into steampunk kinds of things. Um, so, as you can see, it's a, it's a top hat. Um, and uh, this is made out of fun foam. But I thought I would kind of talk through how I made it and um, just sort of walk through kind of what I did for it. So... The the hat itself is made out of fun foam, and um, which is just that soft, spongy material. Um, I did use sort of the thicker fun uh, fun fun foam. <laughs> um, there is a, a, a thinner one, um, but I thought that would be too flimsy, so I used the thicker one. And the basic pattern for the hat is pretty simple. It's actually a six-inch circle. And that's the top of the hat. And then using that six inch circle, I created um, four pieces that were the brim of the hat. Uh, I just sort of created a quarter of it and that became the brim portion. And then the individual pieces here are 10 pieces of this, which is basically a rectangle with um, the sides sort of slightly cut in. So the thinnest point is in the middle of the rectangle itself, and the fattest point is on the tops, the edges. Um, and then what you do is you just take contact cement and put it along the one edge of one of the pieces and along the other edge of another piece. And then you just sort of put them together and because you have this slight bow in this in the middle here, you will get this this shape that the top hat has this kind of curve in the middle. Um, I then took a bone folder and just ran an edge around the the brim itself and kind of rolled the edge um, with with some contact cement again. And then I used my heat tool to sort of shape the brim itself. You can see sort of the side here has kind of a flare to the top and um, it comes down uh, to a point over here. Um, but I used the fun foam and just sort of molded it and shaped it till I got the shape of the hat that I wanted, or the brim, I should say. Um, once I had the basic, <coughs> um, once I had the basic shape of the hat down, then I coated it with primer, just a regular primer that I get at Lowe's. Um, after I used the primer, I painted it with black latex paint to give it a nice even coat. And then I used a product called um, Inca Gold. And um, the color is, actually, let me get the product here. Hold on. So it's sort of like a, a, a buff. Um, this is it. This is Inca Gold. And this um, particular um, color is called Hematite. Hematite. And it's sort of like a gunmetal gray, um, and it gives it kind of that steel appearance. But I just used a gloved finger, and you sort of rub it in, and then you rub it on the the surface of the fun foam, or the primed and painted fun foam. And you can see it gives it that nice metallic sheen. For the little rivets that you see, I used some epoxy, and just put dots of epoxy on it. And then I used a product called 
rub and buff, which is similar to the Inca Gold. It's sort of like a paste, and you just sort of rub it on, but I rubbed it on in copper to give it the rivets. So I did that for all around it, and you can see probably on this side a little bit better. Um, so each of the little sections kind of has rivets on it to make it look like it's metal. And then I did a little bit of kind of embellishing. So on the front, I put this little keyhole um, embellishment that I got from the paper crafting section. I just like that little front piece there. And on the side, I did a whole bunch of things here. Try to get it so, a little bit closer. Um, I used some feathers to give it some height in the background. And then uh, you can see I made some, um, uh, what are they called? Oh, hat pins. Like, just put some beads on some metal, um, pieces of metal. Actually, this is a regular floral pin. Um, these other ones, I actually just took a paper clip and straightened it out and put some beads on them and kind of glued them in place so that they look like hat pins. And then um, I have this kind of compass embellishment. This is actually made out of hot glue, um, but I, again, used that ink of gold, this time in a gold color, and then sort of distressed it with some of the black rub and buff. I printed out some of these sort of vintage looking cards and fanned them out here and um, put on, this is another little embellishment I had from somewhere. This is a little key that I liked and I hung on. Um, my, my friend over at Stamp Nation, um, uh, Joyce, gave me these little doohickeys, which I didn't know what I was gonna use them for, but it's so cool, like, I just sort of plugged it in here and I can hang this key off it. I love how that, that hangs there like that. Um, and then I have some paper flowers that I had made. Um, these are some heartfelt creation uh, flowers from paper crafting. And then what I did on the back, the back is actually really cool too. If I can straighten it out here a little bit. It's a little bit lopsided. I mean, weight wise, you know, so it has a tendency to want to fall off my styrofoam head. Uh, let me see if I can get a good picture here. So the back, um, I actually created sort of this faux, like, corset kind of thing. So I used more of the fun foam, and I used a piece of aluminum foil. Let's see if I can get kind of close here. I used a piece of aluminum foil and sort of, like, squished it really hard into the fun foam to try and give it kind of a faux leather look. And then I took some rivets and punched them through. And I took some twine and just sewed it along the edge. So it's sort of meant to look like, you know, it transitions kind of from this metal piece here um, to these leather pieces of corset that um, are kind of holding this, this bottom portion or this back portion um, in place here. Now, the only thing I didn't like, I actually have a piece of paper that's behind here that's like one of, it's almost like a tool, um, a tool pattern. It has, you know, a very like 16th century people in, in gowns and uh, waistcoats and there's trees and flowers. Um, but so the thing I, I think I messed up, well, I'm not messed up, but I made these rivets too close together. So um, I should have like done them probably twice as far apart and only did half as many. And that would have let you see the pattern paper um, beneath it. So it would have almost been like there's a piece of fabric kind of under there, you know, to kind of, again, play up the corset kind of theme. And then, um, so I, if I would do something different, I would do that a little bit different and make less corset weaves there. And then I put a little jewelry piece here at the bottom and Finally, just some um, beads that sort of hang off the hat itself. I like it sort of at a jaunty angle here. Um, oh, and I have some, um, I finally, now the, the underside's not real done, but I put some clips on here so that if you actually wear it, it, it would be easier to sort of, see if we can put it in there, so that you can actually, you know, wear it if you need to and um, put this, um, so it doesn't fall off because I, I think it looks probably 
the best when it's sort of at a, a very rakish angle, sort of like that, if you were looking straight on at it. Um, I think it looks good like that. So, um, anyway, okay, that's my craft project. Um, just a quick video on that. Uh, comments, questions, leave them below. Um, if you like this uh, video, click that thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you'd like some more videos, um, let me know. And um, let me know, would you like some more videos um, that are more crafty? I know I've done paper crafting kinds of things and I've made some boxes and cards and lots of paper crafting stuff, but are, would you be interested in more different kinds of crafty videos? Um, uh, let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it, everyone. Thanks. Talk to you all later. Bye.